Without further ado, if I could, I'd like to introduce Third Coast Comedy. Thank you all so much for coming out and seeing us today. We're excited to be a part of the Ruby Conference. We are going to be doing improv, as you heard, which means everything you're about to see for the next half hour is going to be completely made up on the spot with the help of your suggestions. So we'll be coming to you throughout the afternoon for those suggestions. On the count of three, though, I just want us to get warmed up and get to know each other better. Everyone just shout your name out for me on the count of three. One, two, three! Hey! Margaret! Hey! Fantastic. Hello, Phil. I think I heard of Phil somewhere. Maybe not. All right, cool. Allison, tell us about the first thing we're going to be doing. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing, uh, let me get a round of applause from anyone who has seen a play before. How many of y'all seen a play? Awesome, awesome. And how about a round of applause for anyone who has actually written a play before? All right. Oh, yeah, we cool. got him. Sweet. Okay, so, yeah, what was the name of your play? It was a long time ago. That's a great name. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to write a play. But first things first, we have to get our improvisers out of here. So I need one person to stand up and go outside with our improvisers that we're going to send out to make sure they can't hear what we're talking about. So on the count of three, uh, we're going to tell our improvisers to get out of here. Ready? One, two, three. Get, get out of here. here. It's like a long pick, pick road. On uh, so if I can have one person step outside with Who's them with so us? we can make sure they don't hear <laughs> what got, we're talking about. Yes, we got one. We got one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need some suggestions from y'all once they leave. Yeah, we got to so, move them. So, uh, what I need first. All right, we'll go over here. You're going to be our proof that we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we need first is some of your favorite song lyrics. So, for instance, mine would be Hit Me Baby One More Time or Oops, I Did It Again. So, shout out some of your favorite song lyrics. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Pour, some Pour some sugar on me, okay? <laughs> Say that again, sir. Confusion will be my epitaph. Confusion will be my epitaph? Hell, I never heard that. <laughs> okay, and how about some of your favorite movie quotes, like, I'll be back, or... You can't handle the truth. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> There's a beverage here, man. There's a beverage, what? The dude abides. The dude abides. One more. Say that again. You with the glasses? Set, aim for the bushes? Aim for the bushes. Aim, aim okay. for the bushes. Excellent. Y'all are doing great. So what I now need are some physical activities, like something that you want to see our improvisers do, like doing burpees or high-fiving or chopping wood. Chopping wood. I heard two chopping wood. Uh, chopping wood. OK, but we want like some sort of emotion to go with chopping wood. So how would you not normally chop wood? What's an emotion? Romantically chopping wood. Excellent. All right, so give me another physical activity you'd like to see them do. Roller skates? Did you say roller skates? Random cascades? Round. <laughs> oh, roundhouse kicks. Okay, awesome. Roundhouse kicks. So how do we want to see them do these? What emotion? Curiously. Okay, very good. Curiously doing roundhouse kicks. And how about one more uh, physical activity? Mowing the lawn. And what's the emotion that we want to see them do that? Sad or sadly mowing the lawn. Awesome. All right, so let's bring our improvisers back in here on the count of three by saying, come back in here. Ready? One, two, three. Come, come back, back in here. here. Excellent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give them a round of applause. Hope they come. All right, the last thing I need from y'all is a title of this play that's never been written before. What's the title of this play? Hold on, can we hear it for Anne? Anne, verify we didn't hear anything, right? Oh. Let's hear it for Anne, everyone. It was a long time ago. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, everyone, I now give you the opening and closing of It Was a Long Time Ago. It's good to see you after all these years. I suppose it is. You look the exact same as the night I broke your heart. Thank you, I've worked very hard. Let me see the back of your head. What? No. I'm sorry, that was too aggressive. What's gotten into you? I just... We don't have that kind of relationship I've been getting more, more physical, okay? You didn't like me when we were together. You said I, was, I wasn't more adventurous. I've been taking karate. Twist and shout. Okay. Twist and shout. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! There, is that what you want? Yes, I, it is what I want. Well, I still want a baby. <laughs> I mean, pour some sugar on me. No. No. I gave you up. I quit you, and I can't have you back. All right, don't twist it. I broke your heart. Aim for the bushes, Buster. <laughs> Is this what you want? You want me to kiss your vegetation? That's right. Oh, yeah? That's right. OK. I'm going to take care of all your vegetation. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Uh, so you guys are doing a whole conference. You guys have been hearing a lot of, I'm sure, keynotes and stuff with experts. We've got a panel of experts here that we've brought to this conference to answer any questions you have about anything in life. This is your chance to ask and receive those answers. We've got three amazing panelists today. I'm going to let them introduce themselves before we start the Q&A. Sir, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, I am uh, Kyle Williams. I am a mid-2000 uh, blockbuster manager. Good to have you. Thank you so much. And you? My name is Edith. I collect Fabergé eggs. Amazing, fantastic. We're really hitting all the, checking all the boxes here. Yes, sir. And who are you? What's up? Uh, my name is Wyatt. I just finished my sophomore year at Ball State. Go balls. Uh, and uh, I've just finished uh, dropping out of econ, and I finished one semester of CSS, and I think I'm going to drop that too. Fantastic. All right, let's hear it for our panel of experts. Now, who here has a, a question they've always wanted to know the answer to? Like, what is the meaning of life? What happens after death? Or, who is God? Who is God? We'll start with the first expert over here. Who is God? Sure. Um, well, a number of different gods. Morgan Freeman has often played a lot of uh, <laughs> God characters, um, but really I'm going to have to say God is the, uh, the big budget uh, companies and studios that are sort of taking over. I, I don't want to go on a rant about independent movies, but I think they're playing God in a lot of ways with a lot of their takeover of uh, uh, you know, artistic endeavor. Fantastic. Um, Thank you. Yeah, great answer. Yes. Edith, is that right? Mm. Edith, yes. Chanel. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and Wyatt? Uh, God is, uh, so, I mean, this has just been beaten into me. It's Adam Dithers, the founding father of Pike. Uh, he <laughs> actually was the first one to create test banks, and that has been the savior unto us all ever since. <laughs> all right, fantastic. I think we got a good answer who God is. Uh, let's see, does anyone have any relationship advice they need or any personal life advice? Yes. Yeah, I, uh, I just want to know which machine to use to uh, impress the most ladies when I go to the gym. What machine to use to impress the most ladies when you go to the gym? A question I think we all want to know the answer to. Um, well, I, I'm going to speculate on what a gym is here really quick. Uh, <laughs> I've seen those ellipticals, and they seem like a lot of fun. But if we're getting to what's the best machine to be most impressive, it's Blu-ray these days, folks. You got to go Blu-ray. Uh, fantastic. Um, Edith? Oh, your dick. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Fantastic. And Wyatt? Uh, so this is actually a, a really excellent question. Thank you so much for asking it. Uh, 
So if you are trying to get like the biggest, you should go for the ERG, but that's not what you should be doing. If you're trying to impress the ladies, you need the biggest machine that's the easiest to do, leg press, 10 times out of 10, brother, 10 times. All right, thank you, Wyatt, fantastic. I think we got time for one or two more. Any other questions you've been dying to know the answers? Thanksgiving's came out. Uh, any questions about Thanksgiving or family or holidays? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two teenagers, like, what the fuck? Mm. Uh, yeah, they just don't seem to appreciate anything anymore, do they? You know, they just want everything instantly and in the palm of their hands, and they don't know how to spend time, you know, walking up and down aisles, you know, really selecting all one or two things that they really want to examine for a, 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 a two days at a time, you know? Yeah. Boarding school. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I totally feel you on that one, man. Last week, my girlfriend Daphne told me that we were about to have two teenagers, and I, too, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear for our panel of experts! Moving bodies. Moving bodies. Moving. For the next thing that we would like to do for you, we are going to need two volunteers from out there amongst all of you. Do I have any two volunteers? You will not have to say anything. Keep that in mind. I see one right here in the middle. Let's give her a round of applause. And I see another in the middle. All right. And we'll clap as they are coming to the stage. And I've got two performers that are going to be performing with us. And uh, we'll keep the clapping going. It's taken her a little while to get down here. Hello. And your name is? Dion. Dion? Yes. We have Dion here. And then right over here, what is your name? Monica, Monica and Dion. All right. Well, Monica, you will be paired with Luke. Dion, you will be paired with Allison. And what is going to happen here is Luke and Allison will be performing a scene, much as you've seen here uh, over the course of this. But they will not be able to move their own bodies. They can speak. They'll do all their own speaking, but they cannot physically move their bodies. If they need to move their arms, you're going to do that for them by moving them like so. And they will keep that position until you feel they need to go somewhere else or put it back down. If they need to walk, you will do so by tapping the back of their legs Two taps, two taps, two taps. If you need to make them back up, you can back them up this way. And to be clear, you got to move everything. So if they got to look at each other, we're going to move Luke's head over this way <laughs> and move it back. Very good. And uh, 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 yes, uh, and please be gentle with them. We have shows this weekend. Other than that, um, <laughs> they have your consent. Yes. Uh, you can shake hands. We uh, mark consent here. Yeah, very good. All right. Yeah, we already did that. <laughs> we already did that. Okay. And so the last thing we need to get this scene going is, can I get a relationship that's non-familial, so not brother and sister, but a student and teacher? Thank you. <laughs> You're not doing so well. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of just stopped trying. I can tell. Everything. Keeping myself guarded. <laughs> I don't want too much knowledge at one time. Well. Knowledge is dangerous. Knowledge is also. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> knowledge is what? Is our, our, our power. Look at you, though. I mean, you're so frail. I mean, you're the smartest person I know, and I don't know if I want to be like you. There, I said it. I'm so... Ah! I'm... I can't even bear to look at you right now. I'm 107. Yeah. Eight. I don't want to live that long. Well, I don't either. I've been trying to end it for 47 years. Let me help you. Please. The one thing I did learn is how to end life. Uh, life. In your biology class, you've made me kill 17 frogs. I get it. I'm going to put you in a big mason jar. That's then, what I want. Just for everybody. You know, I, I have a mason jar right here that's just the size. Make it. Oh, that's going to be a little, we'll need a little bigger, but I'll smush you in there. Oh, I found a bigger one. Oh, I found the one. I'm too afraid to look. Just take a glance. Oh, you're almost inside the mason jar. Hold on. Oh, it's like a cage, a clear cage. It's a glass cage. I just want to dive right in. All right, I got you. <laughs> Let's hear it for our volunteers. All right, for this 
this next piece, we're going to need two volunteers that are willing to let us use your phone. We will be reading one text thread, one text thread only, and we will be reading it out loud, but we will not go to any other text threads. So does anyone have like a group uh, text message thread or a, a good juicy text message thread? Again, once you pull it up, we will not go to anything else on your phone, but full disclosure, we will be reading those texts on this stage. <laughs> We got one right here. He's got his phone out. If not, that's what other reason could you have your phone out, sir? Yes, let's hear it for this gentleman. All right, you got it pulled up here. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, do you have one that has? Do you have one that has a little bit more than one text on it? Can you read German? Can we read German? We will figure that out. Right. Yeah, we'll we'll try it. Do you? All right. Well, while he's pulling up a German, yes. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, you've got it pulled up to the one thread. All right, we will not go anywhere else. We've got the German thread coming. All right, so here's the thread for you. All right, keep that one moving. All right, is this in German? <laughs> uh, let me check. I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. Do something. Yep, sure is. All right, there's the German phone. All right, guys, we've never done it in uh, another language. We're going to see how this goes. The way it will work is... <laughs> <laughs> Margaret can only speak, in this case, in German. Mike can only say the text messages that are on his phone. Bill is free to say whatever he would like to say in this scene. So again, their lines are coming from the phone. Bill's lines are coming from his brain to get us started. What is a non-geographical location? So not Rome, Italy, but like a subway platform or an attic or a saloon. Saloon, thank you. Well, howdy there, partner. Welcome back. Long time no see. It looks like my 40th birthday party will be happening Saturday evening, December 21st. What? 40th birthday party, Saturday evening. Ja, December 25. 21st. 21st. Jo da kanich. We don't get too many uh, German speakers around these parts. How are you, partner? Musner schum dass ich am Sonntag gegen Mittag wieder in Linz bin, uval. Und so. That's glad, nice. glad you've got to come. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just gonna ignore that maybe I could have been invited to this party, or that we could have a party right here, right now. Love you, Jake. Love you, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. Is it so hard to give your bartender a little appreciation from now and then? Fast melde dich wann wann ich dich abholen darf. I think we're out of that, to be honest, but... <laughs> and get you a pilsner. Ich glaube, besun. Are you guys going to be up in Portland, in the area, around Christmas time? Glad, glad, you, I, you got to come. You're talking about all that westward territory, aren't you? I've heard that they got gold in them there hills. H home in Portland, uh, safe and sound. Gold, pal, I'm talking about hitting it rich. I'm talking about ditching this old saloon life. I want to relax on a pine tree. <laughs> da muss du noch abigen damit du dort Hinkmunst? Yeah, a pine <laughs> tree. You have got to come. <laughs> Get those phones back. Thank you so much, volunteers. Great job. Okay. All right, so for this next, <laughs> this next piece, we need another two volunteers. Again, nothing scary. Just two volunteers to come up and help our, our uh, actors with their next scene. I see yes, one hand in the back, and I see another one. Let's hear from volunteers. Let's keep it going. Let's keep Wait, it going. I just realized that we have closed captioning. What happened when it was in German? Oh my! That's amazing. Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah? Okay. That's amazing. We've got Sarah over here. Sarah, if you want to go over to this oh, microphone gosh. over here. And hey, what's I'm your John. name? John? Nice to meet you, John. John. Okay, John, you will be at this mic right here. Um, so Bill. Bill and Luke are going to be doing a scene. During this scene, 
You guys can help them out by making sound effects. They can be anything. There is no wrong choice. But like, for instance, if Luke were to say, I'm going to open a Coke, you might say, very good, very good. We've got a Foley artist over nice. here. Um, and uh, if at any point Allison or Mike gets the inspiration to come and join in the fun, they may do that as well. Can I get a suggestion of a location that would roughly fit on the Your size favorite. of this stage for this scene for uh, Bill and Luke? Airplane. An airplane. Awesome. Thank you. Please be careful, my bag is already up there. <laughs> and my dog is already up there. <laughs> yeah, that's a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> he hates to be pet. Really weird dog trait, but hates being pet. <laughs> Soft ceiling. <laughs> I, I, I'm used to it. Delta comfort section. Oh, oh yeah. You know, my favorite part about the Click. comfort section. Oh. I love their seat belts, by the way, Jude. Unclick. Oh. <laughs> it's just you know when you're safe. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to call for a, a little cocktail before we get started here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I'll, uh, sorry, do you mind if I? You can undo it and do it again. I think I'll have a little cocktail too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 7.30 a.m., but it's 5. It's about time, yeah, for real, oh, seriously. it's about time. Right? We are about to fly Delta. <laughs> Admittedly in the comfort section, but. I'm sorry, did you just break wind? You can't talk to Delta employees like that. They hate when that you do that. That was just pretty flagrant and needed a response. I understand, okay. I'll show you how it's done. Unclear. Unclick. Yeah. Sorry, I'm allergic to dogs. I forgot to tell you. But you. My can of Coke I was holding in my other hand. That was close. That was. That's okay, he loves coke. Hey, boy, here, here, here. <laughs> my football I was carrying in my other hand. Let's hear for our volunteers! Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah. We appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more piece planned for you this afternoon, and we're going to mix things up a little bit. Is it going to get weird if I talk into two microphones at once? Is this weird? It sounds cool? Visually weird. Visually, Visually weird. Visually weird. All right. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just use ours. I don't think All this right. goes very far. We've been doing improv for you, and we will continue to do improvisation for you. But just for a moment, we'd like to indulge what everyone's fantasy is, and that is to be a stand-up comedian. Uh, whether or not you put in the time or work, we're going to make it happen right now, totally improvised and based on suggestions from you. So we'll come to you, get a suggestion, and then we'll hit you with some cheesy one-line stand-up punchlines to accompany. Could I start off by getting a suggestion from anyone in the room of, let's do a non-sexual object, something like a spatula. Germany? Germany. <laughs> OK. Uh, I haven't often heard Germany the object, but I'm curious to see what happens. Great. Germany? Okay. Yeah, Germany, yeah. Uh, 185 Germanies walk into a bar, and the bartender serves them a couple drinks, and they all ask, you got anything to munch? <laughs> <laughs> That's German, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, go ahead, Mike. Oh, oh God. Uh, 185 Germanies walk into a bar. Everybody gets quiet, and the 185 Germans say, get it, cool out, everybody. We're very different now. <laughs> 185 Germans and a girl named Lynn walk into a bar, and the bartender serves them some really, really cold drinks, and they all go, brr, Lynn? <laughs> Can we get another suggestion of anything at all? <laughs> <laughs> Hot 
A what? Boats. Thank you. Boats. Boats. Mm. Mm -mm. A hundred and eighty-five boats walk into a bar, and I might add that this is a very plain-looking bar because when they arrive, they are all immediately starboard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our switch up a little bit. We're going to do it in the form of I like my blank, like I like or I like my men or women, like I like my blank, which you'll provide. We'll provide the joke. So to get us started, any object, another non-sexual object, a poncho. A poncho, a poncho. Uh, I'm, I like my men just like I like my ponchos uh, all over me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like my men like I like my ponchos. Uh, just save them for a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my ponchos. My mom always reminds me I should pack one. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my ponchos. I just pick one up at Walmart when I get there. Let's get a, an occupation you don't think we've heard for a while. So, uh, doctor or teacher, any? Boil. I'm sorry. Boil. A, a boil. 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 Okay. A boil. Great. Boil. Uh, boil. I like my men. <laughs> like I like my boils. <laughs> I don't think I was gonna say 98 degrees, but I, I don't. I think that that's boiling temperature. Isn't <laughs> uh, I like my women like I like my boils. I've never had one. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my boils. Very smart, very deep, three layers, and hard to get rid of. <laughs> Let's get another occupation or object. A chimney sweep. A chimney sweep. <laughs> I like my men like I like my chimney sweeps. They're good at uh, going up or down. <laughs> I like my women like I like my chimney sweeps all over me. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my chimney sweeps British and born in the 1920s. <laughs> Let's get, uh, let's get, I think we got time for one more. Object or occupation? Web developer. A web developer. Oh, we gotta be careful. Web developer. Well, I like my men and women and those who don't identify just like I like my web developers. Cool ass people! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I like my women like I like my web developers. They're cool with front end and back end. <laughs> and that's our show. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We are so happy to be a part of Ruby Conference. Well, thank you all so very, very much for coming. Again, another round of applause for Third Coast Comedy Club.